This zone will always reset as long as you loot those chests. I think someone told me they found eight leather strips in one green zone chest. There we go. I think I want to live, but honestly. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you the most efficient way to get leather strips. I'm here at the green zone. Now I am on my free to play duo account, the account I play with my wife and we are between episode six and seven. So if you kind of want to know, you know, where we are in the timeline, I am level 23 really early on in the game. And so one thing you need a lot when you're low level and really for a long time, but you'll need it pretty early on are leather strips. You also need dragon scales and a bunch of other things that we're going to get from this episode. This is the most efficient way to get those things. I'll probably make another episode for dragon scales and those other materials just because you know, we do this a lot. And so, but hopefully I'll make it fun. This could be a very boring episode if I did it real, you know, just kind of straightforward. It could be a pretty boring episode and you'll kind of realize that as you see what the most efficient way to get leather strips is. But we're here at the green zone. We're at the green wood zone. It's very important that you choose the green wood zone. And there we go. <laughs> we already got two leather strips. That's awesome. Okay. So there we go, we got some leather strips. So normally I'm not that lucky at getting leather strips that quickly. It was literally the first chest, we already got it. But the important thing here is that we are in the green wood zone. You do not wanna to go to the green stone zone because you will not be able to reset it as quickly because you'll be more dependent on other players. Uh, let's see, uh, look, we can open this chest and there we go. So food, this is more normal. You just, you don't get necessarily anything good, but you open a chest. Now we've already seen the whole right side of the map. So we're going to go ahead and look for that last chest. There it is, but we don't have to search that last chest. We are going to kill this guy. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this guy right now on this account. I'm trying to be careful about how fast I level up because you know I'm playing with my wife and she's learning and if we level up too quickly we're gonna run into people that are that is this gonna be harder for us so we're I'm trying to level up slower so that we get we keep the lower guys you know we'll keep fighting lower people so here we go we got soul stones and metal this is not obviously leather strips but it is still what stuff that we can use so now that we've looted all three chests we are going to leave the zone and then we're going to enter back into the zone and then we're going to do it again and again and again now obviously that could be pretty boring pretty quickly you know if all we're doing is going in and opening this chest over and over again so i'm going to make this episode a little bit more exciting um so that we you know so that we're not bored out of our minds especially when i do dragon scales and some of the other stuff that's just going to make this more and more repetitive okay that was dumb all right i'm gonna reset that guy now i brought a staff of support you don't need a staff of support that is just what i have because um it's cheap it's cheap you might as well bring it if you can that way you don't have to be worrying about healing but honestly you're going to get more than enough food from the chest of these zones then you will know what to do with you'll, you'll get more than you end up using okay it looks like i might have to actually kill this guy um which is fine let's kill this guy first all right i doubt i think i'm gonna have to kill him yep i'm gonna have to kill him so here we go we're gonna use our food in this game right now because of the devs adding the healer you're gonna have more food than you're gonna know what to do with and if you don't have the healer yet which again is super easy uh but if you don't then you know this will help you because you're just gonna use the food and and really you're gonna get a lot more food than you're gonna use so There we go. So I'm not being the best with my food, uh, but still, you're gonna definitely get a lot more food than you use. Uh, but I am gonna use my staff of support because it is better. If you have the healer, this is gonna be your better option.
And okay, so you can see here that leather strips are not crazy common, but we looted all three chests. We're gonna go out, we're gonna do it one more time, and then we're gonna do something else to spice it up a little bit. All right, so we're in the new zone again. Uh, the nice thing about this zone is you never have to worry about whether or not it's a new zone. You're always gonna, if you loot the three chests, it's always gonna be a new zone. Um, even if you just loot two of the three chests, it's always gonna be a new zone because there are no other players to mess this up. But if, if for some reason you're doing it in a zone that's not this green zone, not the green wood zone, then just know where you are. You'll notice that I spawned in the bottom of the map. That was different than the time before and will be different than the next time. That is one thing you can keep in mind, but again, it will always reset. This zone will always reset as long as you loot those chests. Okay, so here we go. We found our first chest, making our way through. And we can already see another chest. This is perfect. Once we loot these two chests, we're good with this zone, but we'll try to find that last one if we can. Since we've already explored a lot of the zone, it shouldn't be too hard for us. Oh, there's the other chest. We're gonna switch back to our staff of support so we can heal. You can see here, man, we got a lot of good stuff. Take all, take all. Okay, we have looted all of it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this stuff because honestly, I know that later on when we get more advanced, we're gonna have way too much rope, but right now we don't have too much rope. So, okay, so now that we've done that three times to kind of spice things up a little bit and to go look for leather strips elsewhere, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the second best place to get leather strips. All right, I'm entering the popular district at Newheim. And I'm heading over to the statue in the middle of it. Here we go. Founder statue. Unlocked the secret grove. And go to that secret grove, which is the second best place to get leather strips. Because tombs have more leather strips than even the green zone. But the green zone, you can cycle through those chests so fast doing the way that I just showed you guys. Um, but in this case, it's close because you don't have to worry about PvP. The yellow zone does have a little bit more leather strips in the chest. The tombs have even more leather strips. So it is, there's no guarantee that we're going to get uh, leather strips, even though we're in a yellow zone. The, the truth is, strips are all about, getting leather strips is about grinding those chests. The more you get, sometimes you'll get way more than you need, uh, and sometimes you won't get, um, you just won't get as much. So. You just have to factor that in. Okay, I'm gonna see how I'm, okay, aggroed both of them, great. Because I'm naked, it doesn't really matter hitting two people at a time. They're they're doing more damage to me, but I'm just gonna heal, so. Let's see what's in this chest. All right, nothing good. Now, there are four chests in this zone versus the three that are in the green zone. So you, you have a little bit better chance of, uh, wow, that, that chest is heavily guarded. We do not want to, uh, okay, two chests. Okay, this is not great. I am a little nervous about this, but. So that, that guy behind me right now is really close to seeing me. And if he sees me, then I'm gonna be possibly in trouble, so. And that guy in front of me, the little guy, oh my gosh, this is not good. Stupid tree. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just reset them. So I wanna get these two chests. Man, this chest is almost unguarded. That wolf, all right, come here, wolf. Come here, wolf. So I'm naked, and it's okay to be naked, even though I'm gonna be taking a lot more damage. Um, it's okay to be naked because uh, there's no players that are going to come. I don't need that extra reduction. So, all right, we're going to kill this guy. Now, I really need to kill this giant hermit, unfortunately. So, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and kill him. There's no way to... I mean, there is a way to avoid him killing him, but it's not worth it. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna switch over to here and uh, heal up because I got my health down a little bit too low. And crap, I'm gonna put this away. I'll punch him to death. And you were dead. And I leveled up, which is not great. I don't want to level up too much, but obviously you're going to level up some. If you're going to play the game, you have to level up. So that's just where we're at. All right, so we got three leather strips. That's a really good. Uh, let's see if we can open this chest without aggroing any more people. And, oh my goodness. Yes, that is wonderful. I was not expecting to get uh, 25 points. It's pretty awesome and chains are kind of worthless so I, I have a lot of them so and you should too if you've been playing this game at all okay we're gonna go and we're gonna get two stone I think I can get this log yes okay and then we're gonna go into this tomb uh, this tomb is the second best place to get leather strips. Obviously, we've gotten some leather strips from the yellow zone, but typically you don't want to go and get the go to a yellow zone because you could get hit by PvP. Not to mention, it's going to be really hard to reset that zone. This zone is impossible to reset, which is kind of part to my point. Basically, the reason why the green zone is the best place to get leather strips is because you can reset those chests over and over and over again, and, and that is what makes it the best zone. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put those pants on. I don't need to put those pants on, but might as well. Uh, save room and they're not that expensive to make okay so we are at the bull uh, which if you have not seen my video on the 20 types of tombs or 20 versions of tombs you've got to check it out it is going to really give you guys a clear picture of what all the tombs are about the bull is one of the most lucrative tombs in the game all right, so we got, we're getting lots of oil, which is good, but we're not getting a ton of leather strips. So I'm actually, because on this account, because when you're low level tournament series, I'm gonna go ahead and start my tournament. But just to remind everyone, this is the second best way to get leather strips, not the first best way. Uh, it's very important to keep that in mind. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna aggro both of these guys. Which, nope, yes, that was perfect. Let's see if we can get some more leather strips. They are somewhat rare, so it's not you're not supposed to expect them each time. So you can see here, we started out with no food and we have a lot of food now. Um, that is the nature. All right, so we'll come up behind this guy. Want to get these chests over here. All right, couldn't sneak up on this guy. All right, I'm gonna switch over to healer while I'm searching these chests so I can heal before fighting the next group. All right, well, we got fish glue and oil, which is way more valuable than leather strips, um, but that's obviously the point of this video is to go for those leather strips. So um, we can come back and get some of the stuff. It is good though, just you know, to be on the safe side to go ahead and get everything that is the most valuable just in case something goes wrong. So now here's this giant, which you really want to sneak up on him, but behind that giant is an archer, and you do not want that archer to aggro you. So and as l annoying as it is, um, I have not found a way to aggro one without the other. So we're going to get this guy to come over, and we're going to fight him. And we can take as much time as we want, because the truth is, this zone is going to stay 
not resetted for the next, you know, six hours or one hour, however long. No, it's one hour. Sorry. But for one hour, no one can reset the zone. We get everything out of it. So, all right, I'm going to just put some of these more common items away and I, I'm going to come get them later. Definitely on this account. Everything is valuable to me on this account. So even the rope which is the least valuable item in the game. All right, we're gonna kill this guy. All right, and we are on the top. We haven't even killed the boss yet, and we are at the top of the tournament, which is just, it's more indicative to how low level we are than anything else. All right, we uh, lost our spear, which is unfortunate. I really wanted that spear. Um, I could go get another one. Okay, so normally it's important to kill the boss first, but because it's not a PvP zone, you don't have to worry about anyone coming. And uh, in fact, it's not just a PvP zone. This is kind of like the green zone. This is a family zone. Okay, no one's around. No one's gonna bother me here. No one's gonna steal my loot. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and go, huh. I'm gonna go ahead and open this and go in the, the left horn um, of the bull and um, see see if I can find a weapon. If I can find a weapon, we'll do that. Otherwise, I'll go up, go upstairs and make a spear. All right, we're gonna open this, look for a weapon, nothing. Makes sense. I do like those dragon scales. Definitely valuable for my level right now. Alright, I <laughs> got a heal. We're getting there eventually. It's slow without a spear. More dragon scales. This is wonderful. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try to get this guy to come. I'm going to fight these guys one at a time. There we go. this we're gonna see if we can heal some more we're almost done with this side still looking for some kind of weapon doesn't look like we're gonna get one but we'll just go make a spear if we don't all right we are here with uh, the three I think it's two giants because uh, there we go so we're gonna get one at a time He's dead. Okay, put the staff back away. I'm gonna go ahead and take a primrose soup, mainly just because it'll make me a little bit more tanky. It's gonna make me take a, quite a bit less damage. And so, now one thing when you're fighting these giants, I used to always go to the behind him, you know, after he uses using a skill, but really it saves quite a bit of time if you just sidestep him just a little bit. There you go. All right, he's down. We are down to our last little guy. And we're gonna go ahead and loot this chest. But look, four chests in this one room. It's pretty awesome. Okay, nothing good there. Sharpshooter. Good thing we did not aggro him while we were trying to fight those giants. A sharpshooter and a giant combo is really frustrating to fight. All right, we leveled up again, so not good. We're level 25 now, and I'm trying to keep my level low. Can't do too many more episodes like this. 
until my wife and I get a little bit better because we do not want to be going against too difficult of enemies. Okay, well, we have now looted everything in the tomb except the boss, and we still don't have a weapon. I don't want to fight the boss without a weapon, so I'm going to go and make a spear up top. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take some mushroom soup, and we're going to get this guy to come follow us. And here we go. We're going to stay right here. And boom. One, two, three, four. Oh, you know what? I uh, kind of screwed that up a little bit. I think I'm gonna live, but honestly, Ooh. all right. So we we lived, but I I kind of uh, I forget how much damage. Oh, the primrose wore off. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We're back at it. We have zero armor. You take a lot more damage if you take zero armor, so. All right, so I'm just gonna let him do two cycles. That way we're gonna be able to heal a little bit more. I usually do three cycles, but I'm also usually wearing some level one armor because it's so cheap um, and it really makes quite the difference. Should be able to finish him off now. There we go. He's dead. And we got some pretty good stuff from it. But again, he's not going to give us leather strips. That's not his thing. I mean, he's going to give good stuff. You know, we got the, the offering to Odin's, which is important. We got some good green deer, which is good. But he is not the key to getting the best stuff. So we're, we're going to go hope, open his chest. Now, this chest has... It's got the best loot of the chest. There's a good chance it might have some leather strips, but it has better stuff than leather strips. You know, fish glue is definitely gonna be more what we're looking for, and nails are gonna be more what we're looking for um, anyway. So, okay, I'm gonna leave. I'll come back later and get all this stuff. Uh, after this episode is over, I'm gonna come back to this tomb. Um, I have an hour to get to get doing this but we're gonna go and we're gonna do a few other things um to show you guys all of the potential places and and really how to get leather strips now you guys saw that we got three leather strips we actually got it from the chest above ground and not in the tomb but the idea of us getting those three leather strips in the tomb is possible they're definitely there but as you can see that took a long time it took minutes upon minutes to do that tomb so you should definitely be doing that tomb as often as possible i just got second place on that tournament which is amazing uh, and there was no one there to mess me up so it's worth it you're going to get some leather strips there it's the second best place to get leather strips but it just cannot compare with doing the green zone so we're going to go back we're going to do the green zone three more times get as much as we can again and and then we'll go do something else and, but that's the cycle. You gotta keep doing the green zone. You gotta keep resetting it. And honestly, if you're really going for leather strips or dragon scales or any of those types of items, you really should just straight up, just stay at the green zone and do it as much as possible. Just grind for those strips. Okay, so we just looked through here and there were no chests. I'm going to go around. I don't want to aggro those enemies. So we're going to go around. And probably we're going to find a bunch of chests that are already close to each other. All right, look at that. We got two chests right next to each other. And there's the third one. So like I said, once if you've searched part of the map, then often the other chests are pretty close to each other. With this chest. Wow, that is a good green zone chest right there. 
Now, if I had spawned in right here and found those two chests by themselves, I'd probably just leave right away. I'm hoping that I'll get you one guys one example of that. Sometimes it is best to leave after after doing the just the second chest. It's going to be faster to just leave because you haven't searched hardly any of the map and you've already gotten two of them. Just reset the zone. Um, obviously, in this one we got all three, so we're going to reset it. Okay, so here's one where you find the chest immediately. We'll see. Alright, killing this guy. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I'm going to aggro all these guys. We'll see. Oh, no, we got away with this one. Okay, got one chest. Okay, so we're looting the second chest. And, uh... And so this is a pretty good example. We have not, we've really only looked at the right corner of the map, not a whole lot of the map at all. So instead of looking for that third chest, we are just going to leave the zone. And now we're entering again. That way we get three new chests rather than searching, you know, most of a zone just for one chest. Okay, so we've looked, we've searched a lot of this map already, and we found nothing. So that means, again, that means that probably we're going to find a bunch. If we find the chest, we're going to go ahead and look for all three, because we've already searched so much of the map, it's going to make it go a little bit faster for us. There they are. Oh my goodness. Look at that, all three of them nicely tucked together for us. Let's kill this guy and loot these chests. Nice little club there. Search the last chest and nothing. Wow, we are. Okay, so we started out really lucky and now we're just not getting quite the leather strips that we're, you know, obviously used to. It just, we're not getting them. So, but that's just kind of how these things go. We're gonna just keep doing it. We're gonna look for several more chests because really what it boils down to is you go and you go and you go and you can't find any chest and then all of a sudden, it's like you found you know, three chests in a row, each having, you know, like you get like nine leather strips. Um, in fact, I think I've seen, I think someone told me they found eight leather strips in one green zone chest. There we go. We got a, we got a leather strip and we got some armor potions, which is pretty awesome for our level. So, all right. Now, if that was two chests, I'd just leave, man. I would get out of there as quick as I can just to reset that zone. And here we go. Okay, we already found the second chest, and there's the third chest. So we, we found all the chests really quickly. This was a lucky zone um, because we didn't have to search hardly any of the map to find what we were looking for. Now, one thing that you've got to make sure is that the, the two chests that you raid, the, two, the chests that you empty out, are truly completely empty because if you don't empty them then the zone will not reset if you keep anything in there wow this is awesome go and delete that so yeah like in this situation you have got to delete everything else make sure that two of the chests are completely empty if you are going to reset that zone all right here we are again looking in a new green zone Really looking at that mini map to see kind of where. Where every all the enemies are and where the chests are. There we go. All right, we're going to just keep looking around for those other chests. Okay, we found another chest. Wow, we just went the wrong way. Here they are. Wow, that is just annoying. Totally just went the wrong way. Roundabout it 
the completely wrong way. That was that was dumb. Okay, put these shoes on and let's get this chest. And that's just what happens. Sometimes you go the right way and you get everything right away, and sometimes you go all the way around the map just to find. There we go. Three leather strips, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is it. At first, it may not seem like you're getting any leather strips, but if you keep at it, then you'll have a run like this. We just got four leather strips really quickly, and that just kind of happens sometimes. And you just start getting them, and then once you once you do that a few times, you'll just have quite a bit of the leather strips. But in this episode, we got nine leather strips, and we also got a bunch of other really good stuff that we need. So this is the fastest way to do leather strips. You gotta hit that green wood zone over and over and over again. It does not work on the green forest zone. It does not work on any other zone. You have to do on the green wood zone. You gotta hit those chests over and over and over again, and you will finally get enough leather strips to do the things that you're grinding for. So leather strips are really useful for obviously getting strong hatchets and strong pickaxes to get copper and maple and to break walls and all of those things. And the strong pickaxes are also the best way to get points at the the altar of odin's so you definitely need lots of leather strips for those and that's the way to get it leather strips are useful for other things as well um but i'm probably not going to go into all of those things right now uh, i'll probably cover those in a later video but you can see they're they're used in a lot of really good stuff leather strips are important and that green wood zone is the best and most efficient way to get it. And you'll see, we got tons of food left over. It is a way to get rich in a lot of aspects. You just gotta keep resetting that zone over and over again. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.